This is your weekly trip to paradise, Louisiana style, with Gary Rasponi. Paradise, Louisiana is brought to you by Circle K, Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company, Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change, Demco, CCA Louisiana, and the CCA Louisiana Star Tournament. Relief Windows, visit Baton Rouge, an authentic Louisiana experience. And by Farm Bureau Insurance. Welcome to Bad Brown Food and Cajun Meat. I'm Gary Rasponi. This is our week edition of Paradise, Louisiana. And let me tell you, uh, the river finally is going to fall a little bit. We got some reports from that. Some places where we've been catching fish, they're not catching fish. Uh, uh, in the next few weeks, we're going to be videoing a few rabbit hunts, squirrel hunts, and whatever. we we'll bring it to you. Right now, we're on hold. We got a couple things that are coming up. So uh, you might see a, a, not a rerun of the whole show, but maybe a rerun might come in uh, of an event that we had a few weeks back. So you stay tuned, Paradise, Louisiana. We got a fishing report and we got some news. You're watching Paradise, Louisiana. Fishing. It's where good stories come from. It's about good times and family and friends. It's about taking a couple home for dinner tonight and saving a few for tomorrow. It's all about that and so much more. To CCA, fishing is about enjoying today and making sure tomorrow is even better. To us, fishing comes with a responsibility for the resources we enjoy so much. If fishing means all that to you, then you belong with CCA. So what we're gonna do today, go over, is targeting wintertime trout, maybe maybe even some redfish later. Fishing deep contours, deep shelves, deep drop-offs, working man-made canals, dead in the middle of them, fishing wintertime techniques. Right now I'm casting in anywhere between 15 and 20 foot. And I just found these fish from, I was trolling, caught one, started fan casting, bumped into another one. Just bouncing it on the bottom and slow rolling it also.
if you just saw that wound go down right there, but that's something you really want to look for. We talk about it all the time. That's a that's our wintertime seagull. So in the fall, we look for a lot of seagulls diving on shrimp. In the winter, we're targeting loons. Loons really tell you where the bait's at. We see the loons diving in the water. We know there's at least bait around. And another thing you really want to use to your advantage when you're fishing these deep man-made canals in the winter is your, your electronics. They're pretty important. It's going to tell you your depths. It can help you find ledges. Water temperature is key. Whether they're going to be deep or shallow. And another thing you want to look for when you're trolling around, especially when I'm trolling and I'm covering a lot of water, I'm looking for any kind of activity on the bottom or in the in the sonar at all. You don't want to have just a flat bottom. That's not good. Not every time you see something on your sonar means you're gonna catch fish, but you wanna have activity going on on that sonar. There we go. Nice speck right here. So we're in the dead of the winter. Times are starting to get tough. And we're in one of our favorite deep, deep man-made canals fishing the tiger bait on a 3 8 ounce. We're doing a little bit of trolling, a little bit of jigging. Caught that one actually casting and retrieving. We're having to really pull out a lot of tricks right now to put a nice box of speckled trout together. So we're getting into some of the harder months of the year. But we're starting to fill up the boat. Retrieve. That's what I'm having to do right now is change it up a little bit, doing some jigging, some just simple reeling in. These fish are very funny this time of year. When they want it trolling, they want it trolling. When they want it jigging, they want it jigging, and you just got to figure it out each day. So right now I'm catching them both ways, jigging and trolling. But what I'll do is, when I hit one actually trolling, covering a lot of water, I'll stop with the trolling motor, make some fan casts around the boat, see if I can catch a few. That, that's what just happened right there, just cashing and retrieving. But then when I go a little bit of time without a bite, I simply put that trolling motor on medium to high, go about 1.7, 1.8 miles an hour, and drag this tiger bait matrix up underneath the boat. Make real long casts, that way you can cover a lot of water. This is just a big, giant, man-made pit that's dug out years and years ago, and these fish can be anywhere in here. So, although you might only fish a couple hundred yards, it can take you hours to do that because you got to fish it so deep and methodically to be able to find these fish. A really tough place to fish, a really tough time of the year. But what it does, it just shows you you can catch fish, speckled trout, all the way through the middle of the summer. I mean, I'm sorry, the middle of the winter, under the coldest conditions. Right now, it's it's not terribly cold today, but the last two days, a big front came through, blew all the water out. Just about all the Lake Pontchartrain's really filthy. And back here is not the greatest water I've ever seen by any means, but it is good enough for sure. One thing we always talk about is you always want to be able to see the head of your trolling motor. So when you put the trolling motor down, you want to be able to see the trolling motor. If you can see the trolling motor, it's fishable. If you can't see the trolling motor head, you're probably wasting your time. going to change it up a little bit on this cast. So this is kind of what I've been doing. Takes about 15 seconds to get to the bottom. Started off jigging like that. Typical poncha train pop. 
come in and it's all kinds of contours, 15 foot, 18 foot, 12 foot, 25 foot. You gotta really pay attention to see if you're coming off a drop off or not. And then as I'm done, halfway done a cast and I feel it get to the bottom, I'm doing some simple retrieves, like a trolling. This is what the bait would look like if you're just trolling it behind the boat. Then I'll pause it, let it get back down to the bottom. Boom. Try another section, a uh, series of retrieves. You just got to figure out what's working. All right, what I'm going to do here, we haven't had a bite in a little bit. I'm going to simply cast this thing. I'm going to put the trolling motor on as high as it goes. Cast it all as far as I can. And I'm going to let out almost a full spool of line. It's basically probably two casts as far as you can throw. It's about how much line. And I'm going to set that trolling motor on about mid. want to stay around 1.7 miles an hour. Anywhere between 1.5 and let's say 2, 2.2. 2. And you got to pay attention to what speed is working for you. I got it all set up. I'm going to go check my speed. I'm at 1.2, so I need to bump it up a hair. And I've been catching them in anywhere from 12 to 17 foot. So I'm going to try to keep the boat in that region. And I just like to You'll see them really good trollers. They sit there and they pop that rod all the time. Now I've just simply got monofilament. That's why I got to use the trolling motor because I can't get this bait down to the bottom at a high speed. Those trollers, they get at a pretty good clip and they'll use that web line or steel line and they can just keep that lure down all the time. There's all kinds of different lures they all use trolling. I obviously just usually go with a 3 8 or a half ounce golden eye with a matrix shad. It gets the trick done. I mean some of those trollers are really good and they can catch them at a very, you know, they, they catch a lot. They really know what they're doing. I'm simply just trying to locate different patches of fish. Once I catch one, I typically slow it down, turn the trolling motor off and try to jig them up. There's no better way to cool down this summer than with a delicious thirst-quenching Polar Pop Cup from Circle K. The Polar Pop Cup is the coolest way to beat the heat. Fill your Polar Pop Cup up with the flavors you crave in crushed or cubed ice. Nothing stays cold longer, so you can stay refreshed all day long. Stop in Circle K today for an ice-cold Polar Pop Cup. Polar Pop Cup, only at Circle K. Take it easy. Fish like a fanatic with the latest generation of Revo. Built on corrosion resistance and comfort. World-class adventure awaits with Revo. Abu Garcia for life. Pod's moving in storage. I need to clean out my study. We'll deliver a container. My brother-in-law's moving in. Maybe he'll help you pack. He's lazy. We can refer some professionals. It's just until he finds work. We can keep things at our storage center for as long as it takes. I am not happy about this. Or you can keep your things on site for quick unloading. Did you say freeloading? I said unloading. I heard freeloading. I'm sure you did. Store on site or let us drive your things to our secure storage center. Pods, moving in storage, solved. I've been asking him to change the oil for months now, and he never did. So I finally just went to Benny's. They even washed my car for free. Uh-huh. And you know what? It was a yeah, I left Benny's and got home before Rob even knew I was gone. <laughs> Benny? Who the heck is Benny? Welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana, and folks, it's springtime. Right around the corner, I know it's winter time right now, but uh, if you look around, some trees are blooming already. I can't believe it. You know, a lemon tree 
The one of my neighbors' lemon trees that got lemons on it right now. The grass is growing. That's what I hate. But uh, no, forget about honeydew. Right now is a good time to be fishing. I'm gonna tell you what. Right now, you know, as far as duck season, it's done gone. Okay, all the way the duck season's gone. But you got to the end. You got to the ninth of this month. Next week, yeah, you, know, you can go kill speckled bellies. Let me tell you what. Then you got the conservation all. I don't know where, anywhere in the state where they got geese. All my places I've been doing for years, a hunt. I'm going to see if we're going to do a rag hunt. I'll call you if they come in, but they're not in, okay? From Kaplan all the way up north right now, I'm not getting any reports at all of geese in the area. I'm getting a few places where the ducks are finally coming down. They got all these fronts and these storms are coming in, bringing in a lot of water. One thing... You know, I tell you right now, the bass tournaments, when them kids, they got a lot of bass tournaments, elite series. You go to the bass website and you see what was going on. I told you I didn't have a report, but they had the, the, US, the National Bass Open at Toledo Bend. Congratulations to our young boys over there from Dental Springs. Jack Vornado and Hunter is either Robeson or Robinson, but, but Hunter... You've been fishing real good like that. Let me tell you what. Also, they sent me a few pictures, but they didn't send me enough information. Some of those young boys, they had a, that tournament fishing for Tucker. Uh, it was some one of the young fishermen, and they won that. But uh, they sent me, they didn't send me enough information, so they get off their butt and send it to me, I'll carry it to you. But Jack Bonado and Hunter, they had 10 pounds and 15 ounces, 3 pounds ahead of anybody in second place. They'll be going to the Bass Junior Nationals coming up in this summer. So congratulations, guys. Y'all keep it up. And I uh, thank this Jim and Cindy for sending me all those reports. Uh, another important news item right now is Louisiana Department of Wildlife and Fisheries had the public meetings. They're going to have the public meetings on the spotted sea trout. Uh, they change the sorting times. So a lot of them look on their website and look it up. If you want to speak up, please speak up about this. You know, we're talking about the availability of spotted sea trout, speckled trout, whatever you want to call them. Uh, we've been getting some gloom and doom reports, and then some people, uh, not so much. Okay, so if you want to weigh in, you want to do it. The starting time is moved, moved back to 6 o'clock. Okay, they had some 5 o'clock starting time, so check them out. Uh, I, ha I had a couple of responses about the surface drive, gator tails, whatever you want to call them, pro drives, whatever the boot, the loud mufflers. Uh, I haven't got not one saying, oh, we all wet. The ones I got are still complaining. They, they believe it's a big a, a big hindrance to keeping the ducks there, and they moving off, they leaving, they leaving faster than they should, even where they got food and they had a pretty good one day hunt, the next day they going out. They either going raft in the gulf or whatever. So uh, please weigh in on that. Gary at ParadiseForLouisiana.com. Give me your opinion and uh, to see if we got enough opinions we could bring it to the wildlife and fisheries or even to the legislature. So, day two. A lot of people don't want to bring that to the legislature. Sometimes it just gets tied up and there's too much politics. But uh, we try to do what was right. Uh, we got one big event that we always would every year. I'm going to give you a head start now. March 7th, Angling for Autism. Uh, people at Bedroom, some of the big sponsors, they got a lot of great sponsors. The weigh in's going to be at Lamar Dixon. They're going to be fishing out of dry runs. So, and March 7th, check on, check their website, check whatever you're doing. It's one of the bi biggest attended tournaments. So, of the year, March 7th, first day of March. T stay tuned now, we're going to come bring you back, we're going to bring you a fishing report. I'm Brett Favre. As a quarterback in the NFL, if I didn't stay focused, I ended up on my back or worse. Even the smallest distraction could make a good play or offensive drive come to an end. When you're in a car, the smallest distraction could end much more than a drive. It could end someone's life. 
Just like I refuse to lose on the field, I refuse to lose someone I love to distracted driving. And you should too. Focus on the road. Don't drive distracted. A message from Farm Bureau Insurance. The best part about being a member of a Touchstone Energy Cooperative is that it's your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. That's the power of your co-op membership. Demco, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. Welcome back to Bedrock. Oh, when we go again. Welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana, and our Abu Garcia fishing report. Let me tell you what, guys. Finally, we're going to catch some fish. The river's starting to fall a little bit here in the Mississippi River. If we don't get any storms further up in Ohio and Kentucky and everything, uh, that river starts falling. If it falls slow, that's all it's got to do, fall slow and get a little bit out of the woods, and they're going to catch fish. All my life, in February, one of the first falls in February and early part of March before the spring rise again, and I've caught some of the best and the most bass I've ever caught in the Chaffalot Spillway. So we looked at it. I got a report from my good friend John Tomple. Uh He was fishing dead ends in Bar Black and in the marsh over there. He's using a curly tail grub. That's a white and short tooth curly tail grub under cork. That's where John usually fishes with spinning rig. Uh, yeah, he sent me a picture, uh, it's a box shot, we're going to forgive him this time because he was taking it himself and thank you for sending that report and I'm ready to go fishing, John. I'm getting reports from Toledo Bend, Sam Raven. This is the time of year right now, the hogs are in there, you can also catch them when it warms up, they're moving in shallow water, you can catch numbers of fish, you can catch them on top water, jerk baits, whatever. But uh, Toledo Bend right now, you go to, to Lake Country. You can go see them and check their website. I'm getting reports all over, getting catching big fish, trophy fish, to lead them in. The Florida River, send it to another place you can fish, to Funky River, and all those fish rivers going down there, the Pearl Rivers and everything. When they, after these rains and stuff, it don't take them long. If the wind, north wind blows, it'll clear them out. Sacolay, right now. Sacolay start turning on in them, fishing under a cork, fishing a jig. Be surprised. Black and chartreuse, the same colors they use in the spillway. Again, Lake Verrette. Still getting reports from Lake Verrette. Some big sackle in Lake Verrette. Now, I'm telling you, fish, the crackerhead, the dead end canals, the same thing over there. Michelle and dead end canals. It's just unbelievable. They're catching a few bass in there, too, so don't give it up. But for y'all sackle fishermen hunting, the Zalmas, Lake Desalmas, getting reports from Lake Desalmas. Lake Buff, getting reports from Lake Buff, Bayou Buff. They're catching Sacolay, also catching bass. That's getting good reports from there of catching bass. I'm catching bass on spinnerbait, short tubes for white and blue, and uh, catching them on uh, uh, you know, regular grubs and jigs, and they're fishing down there and punching whenever they find their grass. So that's the reports I'm getting over there. Let me get, I don't want to forget nothing right here. Uh, shoreline fishing. And, and, and Grand Isle, Grand Isle slowed down. Uh, Mr. Rudy's been catching them at night and early in the mornings, he's catching them all the time over there. He sent me a report, he was all excited about going last week, didn't do good at all. He said the water was clear, but there were no bait fish. Under the light or the fishing off there around his camp, he said he couldn't find any fish, he caught very few. Rudy Valenciano, I mean, I didn't get any reports any from Tommy Vidrain either. So I didn't get any reports. You got reports of Grand Isle. Please send them in, especially y'all, y'all people at the marinas. Send them to me. Send them to me. Let me know. Let me tell the people. You want to get people over there? Send me the truth. Send me a report. Uh, uh, Leeville and all them. This time of year, a lot of times they get these cold fronts. When you're talking about the uh, the different canals and in the different lakes, Catfish Lake and all those areas. Uh, you just wait. A few days warm up, they'll move into Shala, and then you can find them. Uh, just be sure that you, you hunt, and you look for that clear water now, and then you find bait fish. If you don't find bait fish, get out of there. Uh, the large 
right now? The Lord is slow. You know, last week, Ricky Bailey and them sent me some reports, you know, they couldn't believe it. Fresh water. I seen, I seen some people at the ball game the other day that lived out there, and they were saying the same thing in their camp. They didn't get any reports last week, so that could change. That can change. Uh, Delacroix is hit or miss. I heard reports from some people that didn't do well. Other reports, they, they're hurting the bass, killing the bass all over, and catching redfish. And even in those lakes, when it's calming down, they're finding that water where it's clear and, and dark and running, they're doing very good. Uh, again, I'm going to tell you this, Island Marina, uh, they're doing very good. In Island Marina, they're all excited. Miss Angie and all them, all the reports from there, all their captains, Clint, and uh, the rest of them, uh, Mike Gallo and them, they're sending him a bunch of pictures, all the people that are fishing out of there. And, uh, but it all depends on the weather. And uh, the best bait is live shrimp. Don't forget those guys at that live shrimp right now, having that live shrimp. Same boys that are running her, her bait shop, uh, the one that ran the dockside. They also be opening one up on Highway 11. So these guys are stay with fresh shrimp, and they also sell crabs in the season. So be talking to these guys, I'm going to tell you. Be, check on them, and they'll tell you where they're at. Uh, I gave you a report on this that uh, right now, I think that's it. Uh, hear no reports from Big Lake and nothing like that, just depending on the weather. And uh, that's it. Remind you one more time, March 7th, Angling for Autism. You're watching Paradise, Louisiana. Thank God for Louisiana. Go out there and go fishing. Check out the fish reports. We've got great magazines. You got a great newspaper, The Advocate, and you got some great, great magazines right now. Louisiana Sportsman Magazine, one of the best. By the way, in March too, uh, uh, they got the Sportsman Show coming up. So, see you next week. This is your weekly trip to paradise, Louisiana style, with Gary Rasponi. Paradise, Louisiana is brought to you by Circle K, Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company, Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change, Demco, CCA Louisiana, and the CCA Louisiana Star Tournament. Relief Windows, visit Baton Rouge, an authentic Louisiana experience. And by Farm Bureau Insurance.